In today's video, we're 3D printing with chocolate scented filament. Nope, this is not clickbait, this is a very real thing, and today I'm going to tell you all about it. Welcome back to Makers Muse, guys. So, Creations 3DP got in touch with me and asked if I was interested in testing out their brand new experimental scented filaments. To which I said, yeah, that sounds crazy, let's give it a shot. So a few weeks later, they sent across a little parcel and when I got it from the mailbox, I was like, why does this parcel smell like chocolate? Who sent me chocolate? Well, inside, there wasn't chocolate, there was a spool of filament. So Creations 3DP sent me this little sample amount of 3D printing filament scented like chocolate and another sample filament for cleaning nozzles. I'll go through the nozzle one in another video. Today is all about my experiences with their chocolate filament. So first impressions, this stuff has a very strong chocolate smell. It's actually overpowering currently how much it smells like chocolate. And uh, the guys over at Creations 3DP are well aware of that. They're tweaking how much scent to put into each gram. But my first sort of um, reservations were, how well will it, will it 3D print? And, you know, will the scent stay after the print's complete? So as we know with some other scented filaments, you know, uh, Protopasta makes some awesome scented filaments of coffee and pine for Christmas special, stuff like that. And the scent only exists when the printer is actually printing the filament. Afterwards, the, doesn't, the parts don't really smell like the, like the actual intended product, like coffee or pine. But I wanted to see if this stuff actually survived, because you're melting filaments through a very hot nozzle, and, you know, that usually would degrade most scents. Anyway, so what filament is this? Well, it's not PLA, it's not ABS, it's actually nothing that you would be familiar with. It's actually a recycled cellulose. I don't know the true formulation, and I definitely don't expect Creations 3DP to tell me, but my experiments started on the Cetus. So I wanted to try to print this at PLA temperatures, and it jammed up. It has a kind of rubbery texture to it. It's quite soft, uh, not too soft, like a flexible, like a Ninja Flex, but it's definitely softer than regular PLA, and the Cetus just jammed up. It did not like it at all, stopped extruding. So, not deterred, I decided to try printing it on my Flexion, which is designed to handle filaments like that. And I lowered the temperature even further to around 180 degrees Celsius. This is the first test, a Maker Coin. It had a little bit of stringing, but really not too much. It printed pretty well, first go, pretty happy with it. And the thing about it is, does it smell? <laughs> Damn right it does, it still smells like chocolate again, still overpoweringly. It actually sticks to your fingers after you touch it. The part's strong and uh, has a nice finish on the edges. Again, the top's a little bit stringy, a bit too hot. So I thought I'd try to print an octopus, or rather a choctopus, and it ran out of filament. It didn't, have a, didn't quite have enough of this sample experimental filament to finish, but this printed really quite well, considering I'd never tried this filament before. And yeah, it has a chocolate look to it. The bottom's shiny as well. I mean, that's expected off the print bite surface, but it does kind of look like it's edible, and it does smell like it's edible too, except it's not. It's 3D printing filament. So what applications are there for this sort of thing? I mean, it's a really cool gimmick. I will say that it's pretty neat. I've never come across a scented filament, especially one that will continue to smell after being 3D printed. But let me know in the comments, guys, how would you use scented filaments? They're planning to bring out like 60 different scents. So I'd love to know your thoughts on how you would use this sort of filament what applications it would have. And if you enjoyed this video here on Makers Muse, guys, and want to see future 3D printing tips, tricks, reviews, then hit that subscribe button. Helps out a huge amount. Look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Happy printing, guys. Bye. In the latter half of the 20th century, a man has sent rockets into deep space. He has placed satellites into orbit.